Well, that was fast. Hey guys, a little bit of a different video here, obviously. The COVID-19, otherwise known as the coronavirus, has uh, definitely taken a bit of a toll for us all over the last few days. It's shut down a lot of public events, mostly the major league sports and in fact it has actually shut down a majority of the filming productions here in vancouver as far as i know a crap ton of them just went to bed for two to four weeks so i don't have work which is fine by me i could actually make the time and use this to make more videos i have a wedding that so far as i know hasn't been canceled yet so i'll be shooting that i even went out of the grocery store today and just gathered a bunch of food like you know if i'm gonna have to sit inside my house for a little while you know i'm cool with that no i didn't buy toilet paper you people who are hoarding it are monsters and you're weird especially those of you who are, think that you're going to use napkins or paper towel not only is that going to destroy your bathroom it will destroy your plumbing it won't work you're gonna have to make a shit pit in the backyard once you start doing the shit pit that's an entire infestation of disease and infection right there but from what I'm gathering and from what I'm seeing with everything that's happening right now, this is actually a good precautionary measure because what they're doing now is a means of preventing something from getting far worse. Are we going to go through a couple of rough months? Yeah, we are. It's going to be, you know, not great. Stock market's not doing too well right now. My investments are not exactly doing the best right now. However, this is a panic. It will come back. Not in the best of ways. It's not a permanent crash. But going back to what I mean about the precautionary measures actually being a good thing. Well, there was a phase where and these aren't even half of the books. I've gotten rid of a ton of them, but I read about 20 different books about the ideas of contagion, epidemics, and viruses. And it's a little weird now that this is kind of coming to fruition, but a lot of the things that are being done right now, these precautionary measures, are things that happen in the novels. In these doomsday scenarios, viral outbreaks, situations, same things happen, public events canceled, mass hysteria, hoarding, all that stuff. However, this is happening well before the virus and the death toll gets to a bad rate. And by doing these things so early, it is helping the virus be quelled, contained, and worked on. It's still not going to be a fun time for us, but my hope is that eventually things will come back to normal. Hopefully we will be able to quell it and everyone's going to go back to normal. And the amount of toilet paper that people will have is going to be hilarious. Anyways, those are my two cents on the situation. Again, I hope you guys stay safe. I guess we'll just be sitting at home watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix and whatnot. Too bad Netflix had to suspend all of their stuff, so now we have to wait a while for any of their stuff to happen. But again, everyone's just being safe. It may seem like a bit much, but it is the best idea to help prevent it and to just help quell it. By God, though, did that Contagion movie get it right. Not the whole death rate or the virility of the virus. Everything else. Kind of funny, because I didn't think that movie was that good when I watched it. I just thought it was kind of boring, but I guess that has a little bit of new spin on it. Might review that next. Anyways, guys, I hope you stay safe, wash your hands, and let's all get this through together. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time.